you all right? <laughs> Had a nightmare. About? Take forever to explain. Dawn, some way off. We've got time. Started in the guest room at Kaer Morin. I was relaxing in the tub, and next to me... Triss? Yennefer. Funny, isn't it? She's never been there. Seems so real in my dream, though. Was she nagging you about something? <laughs> mm -hmm. True to life, indeed. We'll find her. I know we will. That's not what worries me. You've seen her tracks. She's at full gallop all the time. Breakneck speed through wildlands, devastated battlefields. She's in a hurry to get somewhere. Or fleeing something. Either way, it means trouble of some sort. Be surprised if she wasn't in trouble. She's always poked her nose in beehives. Courtly intrigues here, mages' conspiracies there. What do you expect? Don't know. Guess I thought once we were finally reunited, things would be calm. At least for a while. Calm? With Yennefer? <laughs> Good luck. In the dream, I went and found Ciri. Then we trained. Those were the days. Hmm. Little she-devil. I've trained kids who were faster, stronger, but none had her character. Didn't end well, did it? Your dream. No. A wild hunt appeared, attacked Ciri. I couldn't move, stood there like a stump. It was just a dream. That's the problem. It was more. In the past, when Ciri'd appear in my dreams, something was wrong. She was in danger. We taught her how to defend herself from anything, wraiths included. Be dawning soon. Time to go. Wait! Show me the letter from Yennefer. Might have overlooked some hint in there. Didn't overlook anything. We were meant to meet in Willoughby. That's what she wrote. Meanwhile, one army or another burned the village to the ground. All we can do is follow her trail, so... Stop talking for a minute and give me the letter. Oh, how about that? It does smell of lilac and gooseberries. You were gonna read it, not sniff it. We must meet. Soon. Willoughby near Vizima. Hmm. Nothing else to guide us there. What's this postscript? I still have the unicorn? That's private. Very private. Aha. I understand. At least I think I do. Maybe not entirely, but perhaps that's for the best. Back on topic. How's it look? How far behind Yennefer are we? Two or three days. Trail's fresh. But it looks like it leads towards the main road. Could be muddled there. Wait, hear that? I hear it. I smell it. Ghouls. Alright, so we have our first taste of combat here against ghouls. Now it's gonna be the kind of attack, dodge, attack, dodge against monsters and attack, parry, attack, walk, that kind of thing against humans. Most of the fighting you're going to be is probably going to be up against monsters in this game. I guess really though, it's going to depend on how you want to play the game. But there are more monsters than there are people. Or animals. Animals or people, whatever. Geralt also has two different swords, a silver sword and a steel sword. The silver is against monsters, and the steel is to be used against humans. So you sort of need to upgrade both weapons as you play through the game. You also have these different magical abilities. Um, 
I don't want to try to pronounce what they're called right now, but one of them is fire that shoots out of his hands. One of them is sort of like a force push that I just used there. Another one is used mostly in dialogue scenes, and another is um, like a magical trap to use against ghosts and all that kind of stuff. And I might be... Oh, one's a, like a magic shield to absorb damage. I'm not going to be talking much during the first few episodes because there's a lot of story. It's pretty dense with that. So I'm not going to be... I'm going to have to uh, leave it at that for now. Ever tell you about this sorcerer I knew? Couldn't stop talking about how useful they are as creatures. Because you can brew potions from their blood? <laughs> no. Because by eating rotting corpses, they prevent epidemics. Hmm. Did he know they eat the living as well? No. Really upset him, too. His theory collapsed. In general, the game won't be this hand-holding when it comes between walking you between different parts of the game. It, it'll open up. War is not exactly going our way. We have a side. The Northern Realms. Radovid's realms, don't you mean? Temeria and Edern are no more. Radovid's pledge to restore the old borders as soon as he wins the war. Believe that? <laughs> Gotta believe something. That's what keeps us going. This is an open world game, so even though it feels like we're being led down a rather narrow track, all the environments that we're looking at right now are accessible. Later, though. We going? Help me! Help! Has it gone? Yeah. Come out. Gods, that was close. I was sure I'd end up like my mare. Provided you got lucky. Your horse died quickly, but griffins like to toy with their prey. Eat it, alive, piece by piece. Oh. You'd... you'd like a reward, I suppose. Could always use a few crowns. Thing is, I've a meager purse at the moment. Nilfgaardians requisitioned my goods. Now this... Here. Back to the trail. Like I said... Leads to the main road and ends there, muddled. You seek someone? Yes, a woman. Medium height, long black hair. Seen anyone like that? No. But... There's an inn here in White Orchard. Sole one around. Gets its share of travelers. Perhaps you'll learn something there? Not a bad idea. Especially since that wound needs cleaning. Ah, beast barely grazed me. But sure, could use a good rye, nice and cool, you know, straight from a cellar. Let's go. Seems a little callous to uh, demand a reward from somebody who's obviously not really rolling in dough, just for stumbling up upon them and then saving their lives, but I think lore-wise witchers are supposed to be rather mercenary like that. They don't do what they do for free. Um, just to get an idea what the settings I'm running this on my PC are. A 
and runs into a very patient witcher. It's a Geralt of Rivia himself. The Butcher of Blaviken. Recognize me from Master Dandelion's ballads too? What do you do? Who are you? The madding crowd dubbed me Master Mirror, or the Man of Glass.